Hey, what's going on guys? IU Studios here for another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make an underwater kind of effect in Cinema 4D and Octane Render. So um, yeah, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add our body of water here, which we would probably like to, you know, turn into something pretty nice. So, um, you know, I'm just going to add a cube here, um, scale it up a little bit, just like that. <clears throat> something like that probably looks good. I don't know, like that. Depends on what you want to do. Okay, so once we have that, we're going to go to objects. We're going to add in a um, fog volume. Um, and actually, we'll look at our cube here. Let's set this to like, okay, so 700 by, let's see, 350 by 650. Okay, so the dimensions of the cube. Now we're going to copy that. So 700, 350, 650. And take that to your volume and set that to 700. Um, 650 and then 350, I believe. Nope, these are reversed. 350 and 650. So now you can see the cube here, the sizes are the exact same for the cube and the volume. Okay, this is important because um, the volume is going to be the kind of um, how the light bleeds down into the water. Now, um, I should just make a little note here for you guys. You can, um, I'm just going to show you here, Octane Material. You can use like the medium for like subsurface scattering materials, but that's only if you're looking at them from like above. Like if I make a subsurface scattering water and I go inside of this cube when the material is applied to it, I'm not going to see any kind of effect inside of it. It's only when you look outside of it. So we're going to have to do our like subsurface scattering kind of effect with an actual volume. Okay, anyway, um, I guess we can leave this material here. I'll apply it to the cube because we're going to use that. We're going to do that later. But for now, we're going to continue working with the volume. So um, voxel size editor. Now, um, I would recommend decreasing this to a number of 10 or, or uh, you are increasing it, but you're essentially decreasing the quality. The bigger the voxel, the lower quality. Um, it doesn't really matter right now. This is useful for if you maybe are like, I'm um, trying to make a volume on a very detailed object. You might want to increase the voxel size for the volume to be more accurate. But since it's just a cube, we could probably get away with just one. We could get away with like a very large amount. You know what I mean? Like just one like that and that'd be fine. But we'll do 10 because like it's fine. You know, it's um, it, it, there's no harm in it really. Okay. So now we're going to start the render. Let's have a look here. So that's our volume there. Now we're going to make our, um, okay, so we have that material applied there. We're going to make our material here and um, let me just pause the render here. Basically what it's going to be is it's going to be um, just kind of a normal water material. And this is what um, is, we're going to be kind of looking up at. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a second here, but it's like, we're going to be under the water, right? The camera's going to be under the water and looking up at the surface. This is going to be kind of the surface that we're going to be looking at the shader for that. So um, material type, we're going to set it to specular um, index. So you can set that like 1.33. Uh, roughness, probably quite a bit of roughness, I'd say, like uh, 0 0.005, um, to 0.01. Eh, maybe that's a little much. We can change that later though. Okay. Um, fake shadows. We're going to enable that transmission. We're going to make it kind of blue here. You know, the particular effect I'm going for, I kind of want a little bit more of a deep blue. <clears throat> there we go. Kind of water like that. Now we're going to add some displacement, not a lot, just a little bit. Um, I can render again here. Okay. I'm just going to make the uh, volume invisible for a second here. So we have our, um, kind of water volume here. So displacement, I'm going to set the level of detail to 1024 by 1024 filter type. I'm going to uh, set that to Gaussian and I think we'll change that later a little bit. Anyway, for the texture, just click on this little arrow here and go to noise. I'm going to open this thing up. Um, and we're going to set it to wavy turbulence. Now I'm also going to go ahead and click on this material here by my cube. Make sure you set your projection to uh, cubic. Okay. Let's have a look here. Now, obviously it's a little bit hard to see because our lighting is kind of flat, but you can see it's it looks all right. Maybe I'm going to actually set the tiling to like 300 on the U and 300 on the V. Let's see here. I'd say it looks good. Okay. Let's actually do our lighting now. Cause this is a little bit, you know, hard to look at. So for our lighting, uh, I'm going to grab a object lights and then an octane daylight. And this isn't going to be our primary source of illumination, but it'll be, it'll be, um, one of them. So, 
Um, we will go to sun color. I'm gonna decrease that a little bit. Whoops. And we're gonna set the power to like 0.2 because this is gonna be like our secondary kind of light. Actually, I can make this a little bit wider. Um, we're gonna have a, a primary kind of light that's gonna be shining down into the water so we can really demonstrate that effect. Um, but uh, this is just kind of to be on the side so we can have a little bit more detail in our reflections, you know? Like this, because this is like, these are pretty good reflections. And that's what we want from this. Okay, now before we go any farther, I'm going to actually change my render settings. So, Octane, Octane settings. Now, path tracing is very important for really volumes and um, specular materials in general. So, enable that. Um, GI clamp, set that to 1. Filter size, set that to 1. Um, let's see here. Parallel samples, we can increase that. Max tile samples, we can increase that. My mouse is lagging a little bit here. I'm just going to pause the render while I'm doing this. Okay, we have that. Minimizes net traffic. That doesn't matter. Okay. Um, settings. Okay, so for your uh, GPUs, you want to make sure you set your render priority to high. Check all your GPUs. Um, I like to just use one for denoising if you're on Octane 4. Again, if you guys are on Octane 3, this won't matter to you. Just set your priority to high and leave it there. And post settings, we're definitely going to play with these a bit later. But for now, I'm not going to. Okay, so now we're going to go and we're going to grab a camera, okay, Octane camera, and I'm just going to head inside of the actual object here. Hang on. I'll enable the volume as well. So I'm going to head inside of the object here. Start with the render, we may as well. Okay, now for the volume, I'm going to just really quickly go to the medium and decrease the density a lot, just so I can kind of see what's going on here. Okay, I think we'll go from above and position the camera actually, so... Maybe position the camera you know, towards one side of what <laughs> that's the volume. Okay, grab the camera, maybe position it towards like one side of it. And I think I'm gonna I'm gonna pause the render for now. Okay, we're gonna move the camera. I just want it to be kind of like inside of the volume. And we can rotate it from here, maybe looking up. Kind of looking up at the surface a little bit. Like that. Like so should be fine. Alright, <clears throat> now we've got that. Uh, I'm gonna add an actual light. So I'm gonna add an octane uh, area light and this is going to be the kind of light that's like shining down that you saw in the thumbnail the kind of light shining down into the water so i'm gonna rotate this I'm not sure which side is emitting light right now let me just check okay that's correct now for this effect to be good you're going to want quite a small light because if it's too big it'll just spread like the distribution will be too large and the whole water will be lit up as a whole and then it won't really look like it'll look good like water but it won't look um like the light is just shining down in one spot. So I'm just going to place it right above the surface. Now I'll have to start the render again here to just have a look. Yeah, just place it right above it like that. We can do like, position it perfectly like that. Okay, good. Okay, I'm going to enter in here. Now we got that flowing down, or no, we got that um, flowing down there. Okay. I'm going to position the camera now a little bit, reposition it. Just so that we're seeing like this. Okay. Now for the volume, we're gonna deal with this. Now um I don't have any like actual values that I know will work great for every scene. So just kind of play with this really. <clears throat> and increase the density a little bit as you see fit. Right? Already we're getting a pretty good effect here. And you can see as we increase it, it kind of the, the area where the light is emitting gets gets sharper. Uh, if you guys would like to use denoising, okay, I'm just going to pause this here, it's lagging me a bit. <laughs> if you guys would like to use denoising, I'll show you how to do that real fast here. It doesn't need a tutorial on itself. Uh, just go to the denoiser. If you're on Octane 4, again, Octane 3 users, I'm sorry, you don't have this feature yet. Okay, go to enable denoising, denoise volumes, because we are using volumes here. Uh, minimum denoiser samples, this doesn't really matter. I know what these do, but don't mess with them. Denoise on completion will basically mean that if I go to my settings here, let's say that we want to do only 256 samples, right? I start the render. You gotta click on your D main here. You can see I'll just let this go here. Um, and it'll render a little bit. It'll keep going here. And once it's done, it'll denoise it. Now I'll show you here the main one and the denoise one. Obviously, you know, it doesn't look like it's super great detail, um, but that's just because, you know, we haven't rendered many samples, but it's still, you know, great denoising. Thank you, Otoy. Very cool. All right. 
we'll disable that though for now just for now okay so now this like is it looks good whoops i did not mean to save okay sorry <laughs> so this looks good let me just pause that okay but the problem is it doesn't look very like colorful it's just kind of dim you know boring so there's two things we can do for that first one we're gonna go to our octane light the texture c for d octane we're gonna go and grab ourselves a um rgb spectrum there it is and we're going to color our light a little bit just like that and i think what i'm going to do to prevent my lag and you might want to do this as well if you have two gpus um actually i'm just going to look, render priority to low just for now so hopefully it doesn't lag me too much and that's way too deep of a color okay just gonna tweak it like that all right that looks pretty pretty decent i would say now I'm going to add in an object here <clears throat> and I'm going to grab, um, what should we use? We can use a, hmm, we'll use a sphere. Very simple. Um, I used a character in the thumbnail. I know that was my goal, but I don't know where that model is right now. So I'm just going to use a sphere. Okay. Whoops. I'm just going to move it up here. Just have a look here. <clears throat> Just like so. Let me go up to it a little bit close now. All right, let's have a let's get a good look at this. Let's see what this thing really looks like. I'm gonna give it a second to render, <clears throat> and we can really see what it looks like. Yeah, I think this looks pretty good. Um, underwater effect. Now, um, I'll show you if we look up a little bit more at the actual surface. Go right up to the surface here. Maybe I move up to the sphere or something. I don't know you'll be able to see a lot more what that um, water material is doing. You can see here the kind of like the waves. Oh, I've got that flowing down there. Now, if you just want like, you know, obviously I, I have this centered in one spot. I have the light going down in one spot for the sake of cinematography, like for the effect, it looks cool. You don't need to do that though. You can light up the whole water and just have it kind of universally go down. Um, like the, the light kind of flowing down into the water. Okay, one more thing we're gonna do actually before I wrap this up. I'm going to enable post bloom power and we can bring that up a little bit. Um, glare maybe a little bit as well. Obviously not too much. That looks not great, but we can just kind of increase it a little bit like that. I don't think you want to move down the camera a little bit, but let's just see here. Yeah, I think this looks pretty good. Um, a bit slow, laggy, but, um, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Actually, the last thing we'll do is we'll go to the sphere and increase the segments to like 72. It's a very detailed sphere. All right. So that's how I make an underwater scene. Obviously positioning of camera, you know, how thick the volume is, um, how bright the light is, how bright your environment is. These things will all change the look of the scene. So this is not really like a one kind of, this only works for this kind of scene. You know, you can do. Really, you can do a lot of things with this kind of, um, just use a volume, you know, as I showed you guys, and you can just tweak, really tweak all the values to whatever you guys think looks good for your scene. So yes, thank you everybody for watching. Um, I know I haven't uploaded recently over Christmas. I've been busy with other stuff, I'm sorry. Um, I'll try to upload more frequently. Um, also, I would like to thank any of everybody that we have actually reached 1400 subscribers, which is like absolutely insane. Like I feel like just last video i think it was last video actually i was thanking everybody for a thousand subscribers i mean like it's amazing how fast my channel is growing and i feel i'm really happy for that um so yeah i'm gonna try and upload more often thank you everybody bye